Okay, so this will be uh, video 11 of the 30 day videos that we're doing on uh, the Servo Motion platform. That we're, we're, you know, going to get the full machine running uh, with the full emulated system with the HMI and everything. So at this point, you know, so if you looked at, at the prior videos or if you, you've seen video 10, you see, we started the state logic uh, inputs, right? And we st we did the uh, array, and we did the um, basically we did the what the uh, indirect address into the array, uh, basically. So we we put the, the the leading indicators in. You have your e stop. Uh, basically, you have, we have our uh, not ready. We have our stops. We have our ready, our start, and our system running. So at this point, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and add our um, our structure text. So I'll go ahead and write the structure text. This will, this will be a case function. So let's go ahead and put case. Sorry about that. And then in this instance, what we want to do is we want to put the machine state number, right? So, and I'll show you that. So we'll go in and put, we'll just pick it out the tags we already have made, right? Machine state number, in case of machine state number, of, right? And then we'll say zero, and then we're going to go ahead and start adding our ifs. So if, and this will be the, Basically, if not, so if not, um, and this would be the SSL. So first we want to do our E stop. And we want to, to have our AND. And I'll, I'll go back through basically how this is done. Um, or explain how I, I'm you know, going about it. Um, just a second. Actually, we want to finish this out. So, we want to have also we want to have an else if. So we want to go ahead and add basically all of our elements we can in, in state zero. So state zero will basically say if no e stop. Um, and I'm not sure that I got that tag right. Um, so that could be the, the issue. Looks like I did. Okay. I don't think I got this tag right. Yeah, I didn't. So I believe it looks something like that. I don't know. Let me uh let's go back and, and look at this right quick. So let's just copy this. and then paste that right here. Okay, so now it looks better. And we have that, we have that, and then basically we want to say if uh, not e stopped or and the system's ready. So if we did the same thing as we did right here, 
copied it and pasted it right here. And then we put an end. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll spread this out so that as far as this gets, because it, it may get a little far out, farther out, and to keep it structured, you know, as far as a, a good layout, we'll, we'll keep them kind of spaced out, I would say, right here. And then we'll say that this one would be our, like our, our system ready. So we'll right click and we'll just browse tag and then we'll type in system ready. So this would be our system ready. Let's back this up. And then we'll come back and add this. So what do I got here? What do I got here? Um, That's machine state number. This is an and then else if I did have that correct, right? Yep. Okay, I got that right. Let's go back and type that again. This may uh, <clears throat> may level out. Anyway, let's keep on um, adding our state so we don't want to get too far behind. So one, in case of a one, what we want to do is we want to say if an e stop happens, right? This moving. If the e stop happens, then machine state needs to equal I think that's what it is. So again, um, if the machine e stop happens, we want to go to state zero. All right, so um, we'll plug the numbers in here, and then else if, right? Else if, <clears throat> and basically we want to say if uh, if not stopped, and then if it's ready, then we want to go to three, right? So. In this instance, we'll go ahead and pull our not stop tag. So I believe that's an SSL um, system stop. And we'll say, again, we'll, we're going to go ahead and say not. And this is that's kind of why I was saying it gets kind of spread out. So we want to make everything line up properly. So it's easily read. When somebody comes behind us. So um, in this instance, we want to have this is going to be and. Um, and we said it was going to be what? Machine ready, I think it was. So this should be. Browse tags and we'll go SSL ready. And this should be the ready status. Then machine state should be uh, 
3. Now, in the instance of, okay, so right here, I forgot to put my if. Okay, so in the instance of a 2, we're basically going to skip 2, so what I'm going to do is come right here and copy and just as a placeholder, put that in there and then hyphen it out like a comment. I'll basically comment it out. So that everything is is there, but you know, in case we ever wanted to use it, we could just simply come back to it. So now we're on three, and three is going to have the same thing. It's going to have it's going to start off with if no e stop. So we'll just copy and paste that, right? And then we'll come back, and then we'll say else if. And the else if will basically be looking at the um, the stop. So we're going to say if if a stop happens or if it's not ready happens, and we want to index to a one. Um, so if a machine stop happens, so let's just copy this right here. If a machine stop happens. And then we'll, we'll do an or, and then at that case, we'll do an or, and we'll say if it's not ready, right? So in the case of, of the system not being ready, then we'll come up here and say not ready. Then <coughs> machine state. That should go to a one, I believe. Okay, so in this instance, we want to keep keep everything going. So what we want to do here is else if again. And Sorry if this video does run a little bit long because I want to go ahead and, and describe what I'm doing too. So, um, you know, like I said, we'll we'll kind of just try to keep it as quick as possible, but we'll we'll run through this real quick. So, in this instance, we'll say if the start happens. So, if a, a start is pressed, and we don't just want to acknowledge a start, right? We just want, we want to say, okay, well, if the machine is ready as well, right? So come back and we'll put, we'll search out our tag and we'll say SSL and then we'll look for the ready bit, system ready. And at that point, then we will come back and put machine state 4. Okay, so now that we're on 4, come back and again you always, we always want to start with the the e-stop, so if the e-stop happens it automatically comes back. In this case, um, not to say you have to do that on every one, but else if um, then we want to basically say again we want to we want to indicate if uh, a stop happens then we want to go back to a one or if an actual system running happens then you know then we can go back to a, a five so we want to have a start so the system start bit is pushed right here right so if the system running bit so let's go ahead and grab this stuff and so right here, throw that in there, come back, say else if, and then we'll say this is going to be our, our running. So SSL uh, running, and it just so happens if it's running, uh, then we want to go ahead and index it to a 5.
Okay, so now we have a 5. We'll come back, and our 5 basically is just going to be our E stop, our stop button, or our not ready. So if you you know if we wanted to, <clears throat> we could basically just grab this right here and paste it right there because in the instance that it's running and it's in state five, the only things that can stop it is the e stop, the stop button, right, or the system not ready. <clears throat> in that case, you know so. <clears throat> to kind of go over this logic a little bit, and let's do that. So first and, first and foremost, let's go ahead and, and move all this stuff over so it, it's lined up. That way it's a little bit easier to read. And we'll come back and throw descriptors in this too. So for each one, we'll say, okay, well, if this, <clears throat> if such and such happens, we'll do this. If this happens, we'll do this. Um, this to kind of make the people come behind us a little bit easier. And I know that nobody's going to be coming behind, behind this, you know, this basically the simulation I'm doing. But, you know, in, in natural function, in, in real life, you would kind of want to do that, right? So, all right. So let's go ahead and, and let's look at this. In case of the machine state, right? If it's in zero, then it's not, in, and it's not an e-stop, and the system is not in the not ready state, then it can go to a one. Or, if it's not in the e-stop, and it's in the ready to run, or ready state, I should say, then it will go to three. So it automatically skipped three at that instance. Now, and by chance, the first one, it comes to one. It says if no e stop, right? So if if e I'm sorry, but if e stop happens, go back to zero. Then if no stop command, and the system's ready, go to three. So the, basically, the first two are trying to get you to the run state or the ready state, which is three, right? Okay. So at that instance, you still want to say if e stop happens, I want to default the system and take it back to zero. I want to stop the whole system. If a stop happens, or if a not ready happens, then I want to take the system back to a 1, which is the not ready state. And then if a start button happens, and the system is in a ready state, then go ahead and index to a 4. In that instance, the system will be running. So uh, as long as there's no e-stop again, and it's not taking the system back out of, uh, into a 0, and there's no stop button, or a not ready, taking it to a 1, then it will index to 5. At that instance, the only things that can stop it would be the E stop again, or the stop button, or not ready. So again, this is the full logic that's going to be feeding out um, to the uh, state machine array. So the array that's right here. So what we'll do uh, we'll pop that back open. We'll hit save real quick. And we'll come back and we'll throw descriptors in this in, in a little, you know, maybe in the next video. But I just wanted to show you how easily that was. So this is a good representation of like a, a case scenario. Um, so you want to say case of, and you still use it if, then, and else function, right? So that's, that's a, a really good way to lay things out. Um, and just have it all done. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's really good to, you know, index through the whole state machine really fast and know exactly where you're at. So you're in state zero, you can go to state one or you can go to state three. If you're in state one, you can go straight, straight to uh, state three. If you're in state three, you can go to state zero, one or four. If you're in state four, you can go to zero, one or five. If you're in state five, you can go to zero or one. So it's pretty easy to read, uh, nice and legible. Uh, again, we'll come back and put some descriptors behind it. I apologize for running a little bit of hit, you know, behind, you know, as, as far as the timing and everything, but I just kind of wanted to de describe exactly what we're doing so that it's a lot more value added. Um, this will help, you know, real, be 
be real beneficial when we actually start passing through and, and, and the state machine starts working and we're going through the array. So that when we start in the indirect addressing, you'll understand exactly what's going on um, and it all tie together perfectly. So again, I appreciate your time and your patience. And again, we'll, we'll pick back up where we left off on the very next video. I'll throw some descriptors in here. We'll probably test this stuff to kind of show you exactly kind of how it works. Um, and then we'll, we'll go ahead and populate our array. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and stop this video. And again, thank you for your time and your patience and your support.